this court must be alerted. Pronounce its own verdict. If I had strayed from any of the virtues of Ubuntu, if I was wrong for me to join the call for the justice for more blessing, I, if I should have refrained from offering legal representation to a family in grief, then I would gladly accept whatever punishment is meted against me. I leave it to history to judge me. My conscience is clear. My faith given my demise while it's shackled in the oppressor's prison will not put an end to the quest for justice. The pages of history will always turn an excellent point to the victim's glory. It may take tickets, even centuries, but the truth shall come out. Those who came before me succeeded in removing the yoke of colonial rule. It took them close to a century to do so. I am only 50 years old. The world of scrutiny has been my compassion, was, has been my companion and friend for over 10 months now. Prison walls confined the iconic Nelson Mandela for 27 years. But, not, but did not confine his ideals and did not kill his spirit. Prison world was confined several leaders of the liberation struggle, but it failed to contain the ideals they stood for. The hangman's noose cut short the life of Biri and Sekunga Gun, but did not kill their ideals they stood for. Whatever penalty that may be imposed against me will not contain the ideal of seeking justice against the callous matter of Mokresi Ali nor will it contain the ideal of a free, peaceful, and just smile. I resonate with the following writings of Freeborn Muron. I was born in an out fund racist country called Tisha. All Africans born in that country were without political rights, human rights, or any kind of rights. But in spite of it all, my spirit was always free. Thank you, Mrs. Thank you very much.